Hi everyone, it's Brian at Witch Doctor. Wanted to continue my uh, primer weight sorting testing. Uh, the first video went out the other day, got a lot of really good comments. Um, one of them was from the great Bruce Teal. Bruce Teal is a championship long range shooter uh, who has been uh, very successful in making very precise loads and small groups at long range. So when Bruce talks, we listen. <laughs> That one's for you, Bruce. Um, anyway, so um, the comment was that if you, you know, check out the BR4 primer, um, you'll have much less variability in the weights than you will with the CCI 450. So uh, this morning I went ahead and grabbed a couple hundred of those BR4s, went and uh, sorted them. They sorted neatly into four weights. Um, I had no other weights than that. It was just these four. Um, the majority of them tended to be on the, you know, 3.66, 3.68 side. Um, it's noted that the cup on the BR4 is shorter than the 450, so there some weight um, in that cup is uh, reduced with the BR4. So even though these weights are very similar to the 450, the BR4 has a smaller cup, and so it weighs likely weighs less, is what I'm guessing. So I'm guessing that. Uh, greater weights here uh, may represent um, more c primer compound than what's in the 450. Uh, I'm not really sure, but that's kind of what I'm guessing. But anyway, you can see the distribution of the different weights uh, and pretty evenly distributed from 3.66 to 3.7. Anyway, I loaded up five rounds of each of these weights and did pretty much the exact same test as I did the other day. I assessed velocity using the lab radar and what I actually found was among this weight range 3.64 to 3.7 uh, there was pretty much no difference in velocity all of them were around 34 60 ish in that area uh, there was no linear trend like we saw with the 450s with the 450s it was really clear um, the heavier the primer the faster the velocity um, here it seems that the velocity is very consistent across the four different weights standard deviations were fairly consistent again but we did have at 3.66 a tiny little standard deviation of 1.2 um, that just for whatever reason shot really well um, again this is just a sample of a five shot group in each of these weights um, so but that 3.66 for standard deviation um, looks really good extreme spread um, the 3.66 once again had a very low extreme spread the rest of them were you know 19 22 and 27 the groups shot were really good groups um, and consistent. Um, with the 450s, there were some inconsistencies in the group sizes. Um, in fact, one of them was in the fours. I think two of them were in the three, two or three were in the threes, uh, and a few in the twos. But here it was all twos, low twos, and below. Um, and interestingly, there's a linear correlation with the group size where um, the more heavier the weight, the smaller the group. And uh, so with 3.64, we had a 2.38 group. Uh, 3.66 was 2.16. 3.68 was 0.199. 3.7 was 0.166. Um, point of impact was the same for all of them. It was all kind of down here to the left. You can see for the 3.64, down here to the left, looks like a little more vertical. Again, this was with LT32 powder, um, and I think the load was 28.7 grains of that. Um, 3.66, again, a little bit of vertical. 3.68, vertical kind of reduced there, a little more horizontal. Uh, 3.70, um, again, slight vertical, uh, mostly. Um, so interesting pattern on the targets where the point of impact was the same. Um, interestingly, looking at this data, if you look at the average velocity, was it was well above the 3400s in the 3460 area. Uh, the data yesterday um, with the CCI 450s was well below this. It was like 3360 or so, 3370 uh, in that range. So 
looks like for LT32, you know, if you're firing, you know, a, a 450, you can expect relatively lower velocities with the same charge. But once you switch to a BR4, uh, looks like that velocity uh, hikes up quite a bit. Um, in fact, I kind of wondered, did I accidentally put <laughs> 29.7 instead of 28.7? But um, I think I really did put 28.7. It's just for whatever reason that BR4 uh, seems to uh, be pushing them a lot faster. Again, I suspect that's because um, the compound weight may be greater uh, in the BR4 relative to the 450. But um, in any case, there you go. Uh, looks like if you you know switch to a what's called a match grade primer, uh, you will get a lot more consistency and seemingly um, better performance. Um, I've heard through the grapevine. I've seen people in writing say that you know um, with the match grade primers, the companies put their you know their best staff. Um, on the match grade stuff. They put their best machines on the match grade stuff and so it comes out with better uniformity uh, and the price is usually a little more for the match grade but uh, seems like according to the test yesterday and this one today I'm willing to say that it's worth the money. Um, I think you're going to get a lot more reliability out of the uh, match grade or Bentress grade uh, primer. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you for tuning in and uh, looking forward to more comments. Please subscribe, like, and share.